Manuscript Library at the University of Illinois. This is The Mailbag, where we answer your questions about books. Today's question comes from Abby. She writes, In the Harry Potter books, the students at Hogwarts write their assignments on parchment instead of paper. What's the difference between parchment and paper? First of all, Abby, that's a really good observation. It is a little strange that the students at Hogwarts had access to so much parchment because of where it comes from. Parchment is made from animal skin, usually calf, sheep, or goat, which has been cleaned of its hair and flesh, and then washed, stretched, and scraped. Depending on its size, the skin of one calf might get you just two or three big sheets of parchment, so parchment is a relatively scarce commodity. Animal skins have one side from which the hair grows, and one side that covers the flesh, so parchment does too. Sometimes you can see hair follicles on the hair side and veins on the flesh side. Of course, there are different levels of quality in parchment. For example, you'll often see holes in parchment. Some of these holes came from insect bites or other injuries, or knife scrapes while the parchment was being prepared, like these small ones in this medieval school book. Also, animals aren't square. So, sometimes you'll see a leaf that looks like it's missing a piece. This is known as a defective edge, when there wasn't enough skin left over to make a fully squared off sheet. Paper, on the other hand, isn't made from animals, but rather from fibers that have been macerated or pulped. In medieval and early modern Europe, these fibers often came from cloth rags. Paper had been developed in Asia by the first century AD, and possibly even earlier. This is an example of 8th century paper from Japan. To make paper by hand, a metal screen was dipped into a mixture of water and pulp rags. As the paper maker lifted the screen out of the mixture, the water drained off, leaving a layer of pulp on the screen's surface. Paper makers sometimes attached a wire design to the paper mold in order to create shapes in the paper. These are watermarks, which you can see when you shine a light source through the paper. This book of poems about bats, for example, is printed on paper with a bat watermark. Like parchment, paper could have imperfections too. This 17th century spider evidently fell into the paper mold while the paper was being made, and now it's part of the page. So why would someone choose paper over parchment, or vice versa, especially in medieval and early modern Europe when both were in use? Well, paper was generally cheaper and more fragile, so it was often used for temporary or personal records like journals and account books. Parchment, on the other hand, was generally more durable and expensive, so it was often used for things like legal documents and luxury books. Under the right conditions, parchment can last for a thousand years or more, so the students at Hogwarts must have had a pretty high opinion of their homework assignments. I hope that answered your question, Abby. Be sure to let us know if you have any more.